we have Sparkling Apple here. We just finished playing a, a crazy set, uh, typical of Sparkling Apple. Probably the, uh, the craziest rock and roll band that you'll ever see in your life. Uh, like I said before on the, on the stage, and I'm, uh, it's the way it is, it's punk rock, new wave, rock and roll. It's drunk rock. It's drunk rock. The whole, is it drunk rock? It's drunk rock. Drunk rock. Which is uh, what is that? The, is that the format? Uh, is that the uh, four, uh, four thing of the uh, the punk rock or what? Uh, it's yeah. it's the fifth thing actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it is. What is it? What is it? Okay, uh, you got to be drunk to play it and drunk to appreciate it. That's that's drunk rock. Okay. What if you're high? Uh, hi. <laughs> How you doing? Well, we don't we don't really care for hippies coming into our uh, our uh, place where we play. But if they do come in, they have to uh, you know get into it, man. Okay, this is, uh, we, we're starring uh, Captain Maniac, who is, who's Captain Maniac here? That's me. Uh, that's, this, this is Captain Maniac right here. And then we have Buzz Constantly. You're buzzed constantly. Are you buzzed constantly? Uh, hang on, hang on, just a minute. I'm buzzed constantly. Oh, he, okay, he's buzzed constantly. Uh, and we have the heavy metal kid here, who uh, is definitely heavy metal. What do you feel about heavy metal? Do you like it or what? Well, I've been gaining weight in the last uh, two or three weeks, and I, I'm... I'm well over my corrected weight. I'm about five pounds over, but you know, yeah, with a good rider, I could be, you know, all right. I could make it in a race. Are you trying to look like him, and he's trying to look like you? Is that the deal? That's the deal. Then. Jesus, he got, he's got a lot. I'm trying to grow a mustache. Okay, but getting back to serious uh, business here, the, uh, these guys are uh, they 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 have uh, a lot of uh, comedy in their in their rock and roll. It makes people relax. Uh, uh, I've seen a lot of rock and roll bands. They're a very relaxing band. They're 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 fun, you know. They're fun. They're crazy. Uh, you write a lot of your tunes, do you guys or what? Uh, no, we get them on the comic books mostly. Comic books, what the uh, Archie and uh, things like that. Uh, Mudbone and Mudhead, I think. Mudbone and Mudhead, yes. Well, I like to read that. What's Negro that? Comics. <laughs> okay. Um, so, how long have you guys been together? Uh, <clears throat> Long, longer than you would expect. We've been together. He and I have been playing together for about ten years. And uh, Buzz, Buzz, our broker here, he joined us about two years ago. Buzz, who the fuck? Uh, who the heck you talking? <laughs> who are you talking to right now, by the way? I'm trying to set up a deal for Madison Square Gardens, but they're not. Uh, Buy. No, no, hey, sell. Is this a fight? Excuse me, I'm, I'm are you setting up a fight or a rock and roll show? Oh, it's going to be a rock and roll show. It's going to be Sparkling Apple versus the Ramones. Oh. On day night. I think that sounds, that's exciting, that's very exciting. Ramones want to play first, right? And we want to play first, right? You know what I mean? Like, most bands want to be top bill. We want to be the first act on, right? And, you know, like, because we want to blow them off the stage. Just a minute. Hang on. Two million, forget it. Hang on. Hold on, just a minute, hold on. Do you like to say a few words? Oh, nothing there, sorry. Is <laughs> you sure that phone's connected? <laughs> okay, go, here it is, here can I just say something to my uh, fellow Canadians and shut-ins at home? All right, Joey Catel and the Pointed Slugs, I just want to say, Monday night in the gardens, I'm going to rip your little bow ties off. I'm going to come out there, and I'm going to grab you by your less paws. That's right, Ron. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you, as usual, Ron, you did a very good job. Do you feel that you're the most loudest of the group? Who, me? <laughs> <laughs> that answers that one, right? Okay, so are we got lots of time yet here, or is everything cool? Or I guess we got time, eh? It's hard to say. You got no headphones, eh? Okay, well we're still interviewing here. Um, where, what are your plans in the future? Are you doing some album uh, albums and uh, releasing some albums? We'd like to make as much money as possible in as short a time as possible. That's everybody's dream, of course. And, then, and of course, then we're gonna quit and be, you know, playboys and come down to your club and get drunk a lot. Well, you spend a lot of money. If you don't spend any money, forget it. Listen, uh, would you like to say a few words to anybody, your mother, father, or your sister, brother? Uh, well, to all, to all you girls who, who'd like to, you know, see me after work, I'm getting my divorce in January, and, uh, oh, yeah, right. And, look, hey, I'm going gay because these guys are driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, actually, you know, like, getting on the serious side here, uh, do you have an album coming out? Okay. Yeah. Yes, we do. Have an album coming out real soon. Is it a good album? Hey, it, 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 it will. By the time the album comes out, after, after we learn how to really you know, work it out in the studios, things will come together and the album will probably sell you know, 50,000 hey, copies. Like the Beatles. Really? 
I, th I, I think what, what the thing about this band here, what I can see is Sparkling Apple here, a lot, lot of sense of humor, a lot of this, a lot of that. What, what does that mean? Eight seconds or seven? Three? Okay, we're going to be closing out right now. We're at Gary Taylor's Rock Room. And uh, thank you very much for being here tonight. Good night and from everybody.